What's up, Facebook? How's everybody doing? This is Gardy and Kurt from hey. the KTA. Oh, you and the Kickstarter Morning Show. We had Los Compas in Galveston, Texas, having some awesome Mexican food. We just sat down. So here's some stuff. Let's go ahead and show them that. Show okay, so what they got going on there. Look, that's. Okay, this is not. The Domingo. The Domingo. This is like a five pound cinnamon roll. Just scoot, just scoot into that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and man. Do the side shot or something. Okay, so like, here's my hand. <laughs> That's my hand. It covers the whole hand. I have small hands. I'm dainty. But... You have a big open head. Open it with that. Show me the... <laughs> Oh, my. Sure. You gotta open it. So, it's a so... homemade tortilla. That's the best part. Do you guys see it? You Look at that. that. Homemade tortilla. It's got bacon. I see eggs. I see cheese. Ooh. How many? How big is this? Like how many pounds? This is at least uh, four and a half pounds of. We have potatoes. We have uh, eggs, beans, bacon, uh, grated cheese, and this this tortilla is not made until you order it because it's literally about. Well, this is mine, so I'm going to grab this one. This is a regular tortilla. That, that tortilla is, is about a quarter, almost a quarter of the one that's for the Domingo. Wow. So we've had a few guys finish it. Mm -hmm. uh, so some, some of them will eat a, a whole one. The entire yeah. thing. Wow. Uh, one guy thought he could finish it. We almost had to help him out of the door because he hurt himself trying to do it. But a few guys will come every week and they'll order it. And we, we have a few people that will come every week and they eat it completely. Just amazing, but it's it's delicious, fresh made. Again, we don't make it until it's it's ordered on the spot. How many people could actually eat off that? It's like recommended. Um, How many could it be? Like if a family came in. I think four or five regular eaters could really yeah. get forward and, and not be hurting for anymore. Yeah. yeah, four to five people. Yeah, easily. We recommend everyone buying their own, but four to five can eat easily on that. Uh, so yeah, we awesome. have we have fajitas. So this is the fajita, uh, fresh fajita, uh, beef and chicken, uh, vegetables. We love to put extra veggies. Uh, we also have uh, we have green chili uh, and tomatadas with fajita meat, and then your regular enchiladas, rice and beans. And it comes with a crispy taco. That's our. Yeah, this is yeah. If you put that, that taco with it, yeah. so you get this. Thank you. Let me grab that one. So this is the mason plate. What you get is two enchiladas, one green, one red, and then you get the crispy tacos. Uh, and then there's another plate you can also have with... Uh, oh, lots of tomato. No worries. <laughs> you can also get it with tamales, fresh made tamales. I actually know the lady that makes those, so... Tamales, tamales, tamales are the ones that you bite into, right? Yeah, great. So, Kurt, have you heard about that story? No, not yet. The first time, Kurt, he's from Nebraska. I don't do tamales. We spent time in Vermont, did some time there. We were blessed and somehow ended up with Kurt Casper. <laughs> he's down here with us, right? Wow. Um, so, at the Christmas party at Pastor Allen's house, it was his first time to have tamales. So, I just got stuff from HEB. I like their big and they're, they're, they're pretty good. They've been talking about it on the show. I'm so afraid where this is going, but go ahead. So, Kurt, I was like, did you get tamale? I wanted that for him. I handed it to him, and I'll let Kurt take over the story. What happened? Uh, Guardian didn't tell me that you have to take the husk off before you bite into the tamale. I did not know that that was my This is Guardian's thing. It's not my fault. It's Guardian's fault. Not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> and so I bit into the tamale. He's like, this is gross. This is gross. I was like, what? And I was just like, Jardy has ruined tamales for me. It was like slow motion, like what he was doing, like picked it up. And like, so everybody's there watching. did you peel it and finish eating it? No, I, I was done. So I was like, no, this is it. I didn't even eat it. I was like, we well, have to eat it. He was like, no, 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 this is gross. So you wouldn't try it again? I think we have some. Mm -hmm. Did you try it again? That, that's actually a tamale. Like, that, red, so that red one is a tamale. Okay. So, so you have an enchilada, awesome. tamale, and a taco. You get one of, one of each. Yeah, so this is awesome. Um, do we have some plates? Yeah. Or is it that we can use to, to dive into this? Um, so we also, like before we started the live stream, the queso. Down, the queso. There's none left. Like, well, there's a little bit left, but that that's gone. It's completely gone. We have, uh, That's my daughter. Uh, fresh guacamole. We don't put onions in it, just tomatoes. Guac. A little bit of salt. Guac. Guac. So we'll get some plates out here and we'll start. Also, me and Kurt, we ordered some. Oh, 
Ochata. Man, it's some Ochata. It's really good. Ochata. Uh, uh, it's good. Right? You got some Mexican coke. So we're down here uh, at Los Compas, if you're just joining us in Dallas, Texas. What's the address here? Is it 2413? Uh, 2314 45th, 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 45th Street. We're about three blocks off of the beach. Uh, the place has been here for over 20 years. I remember uh, growing up here when they started the restaurant, and now uh, most people, they come, they, they come back. A lot of newcomers, they find us on Yelp. You want to look us up on Yelp? We have one of the best ratings on the island for Mexican food, so uh, we really enjoy serving the community and people to enjoy when they come and visit us. Uh, so come and see us. Yeah. And we're, we're open um, till two every day except for Tuesdays. Tuesdays we're closed. Yes. So they're closed on Tuesdays, but until two o'clock. Um, so Los Compas, I looked it up because I was like, what is what does Los Compas mean? It means the compass. Do you know why it's called the compass? Am I right? Okay, the compass. Yes. Compass. I guess I so this is Rodrigo. So this is this is Rodrigo Rojas. Him and my sister. He's my brother-in-law, and my sister Anna. They started the restaurant over uh, 23 years ago. Wow. So los compas is actually sounds very similar to a compass, but los compas means best friends. Compas like compadres. Compadre. Compadre. Yeah. Compadre, yeah. yeah. But he'll tell us the reason. Just give us the short version. Don't give us the, the long oh, version. Oh, that's a long story. But give me the short yeah. version. Like, I, well, I used to work in a hill restaurant, and everybody called it compa. Hey, compa, here. Compa over there. You know, so we, we always call it compa. Instead of call for the name. And that's when when I started the business here. And then the guy, yeah, was, he called him compa. He said, well, well, how do you call it the name of the place? He said, well, what about the, the, Los Compas? I said, okay, yeah. I like it. And that's, that's what we started. Yeah. Okay. So uh, over 20 some years ago, him and a friend started the business. They were best friends. They called it Compas. But the best friend, a few years into the venture, uh, decided not to be a Compa anymore. So he left. Yeah. So he remained the sole owner, him and his wife. But we left. The, well, they left the name Compas on it because they just caught on yeah, it's just uh, just everyone knows it as compas. You know? Our friend Luis, who, who watches and uh, helps us out with our translation sometimes, says, "Kurt, you should have asked me. I would have let you know." Yeah, <laughs> that is not. It's not the tamal. No, but the tamal or the compass. Oh, I did that. I looked it up. I said the compass. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, oh, look. So this is the part that I've been waiting for Kurt to try, and I feel like. Yeah. Okay, here you go, Kurt. This All is right. fresh menudo. Right, thank you so thank much. Thank you, sir. Tell Anna to come say hello. Right. Uh, so anybody, anybody. Here this is the best menudo on the island. There you go. It it is. Is. You know what? Made every day. I'm going to have to agree. Why is it red? And so I'm dealing with like a, I'm not sleeping, but I have like a, like, like uh, a red chili. chili. I was like, I know. Chili guajillo. I'm not going to be able to see you. I'm going to be doing that. So this menudo will take away Gardy's rough throat. He's had it. So, Anna, please tell us a little bit about the process, the food, with the menudo specifically. Sure. Okay, what you see here is uh, some good Mexican food. Everything is with fresh ingredients. Okay. Our menudo is, uh, the, we use the best uh, um, honeycomb, I mean the, the tribe. It has honeycomb in it and we use the guajillo, it's a chili. We soak it, we blend it, everything. Yeah. Fresh garlic, everything yeah. is freshly made. So you put a lot of garlic yeah. in it? A lot of garlic, fresh garlic. Oh, I like garlic. Yeah. And, um, um, somebody, use, we had a guest yeah. on, on our show this morning. Shout out to them for being on this morning. Uh, but as they left, I said, they are like, oh, just don't ask what's in my <laughs> So, yeah. like, don't be back there while they're cooking it because you won't want it. I said, yeah. what is it? No, this one doesn't smell. Our menudo. The menudo that you need to be afraid of, people that are watching can, can attest, that know about menudo, Gardy knows, he grew up eating it. I think uh, yeah. if the menudo smells when you're about to eat it, it probably didn't get uh, prepared as best as it could have. Uh, some people have told me, I like it stinky. Well, we don't like it stinky here at home. So she cleans it very well. We pick it in the morning so it's people can smell. Right? It's uh, it is from it's one of the best proteins you can have from the cow. It's not a fatty protein. It's meaty. It's, it's very meaty. Yes. It's very hot. Yeah. 
Yeah. You'll burn yourself. So before before you before you eat it, does it smell at all bad? No, it smells. What does it smell like? Honestly, what does it smell? Like? I don't know. I've never smelled it before. Okay, so it smells like meat, maybe. Okay, so if you ever smell other menudos, you'll see the difference. We kind of pride ourselves on it being clean and not smelling like other parts of the cow. Let's just yeah, let's right? go, Kurt. <laughs> All right, Kurt. You put lemon in it. I like, I like what the lot of Oscar boy does. Manulo. So the chive is meaty. What I like about it here, it's crunchy. Some manulo is very soggy. It almost it doesn't feel good chewy. Yeah. So the white part is a hominy. I've never tasted anything like this in my life. So this is the hominy. Yeah. yeah, that's the crunchy, or something was crunchy, I think that was it. Uh, the meat, crunchy. the meat. Was it the we, we call it the meat, but the, uh, it's not real, it's not hard crunchy, but it's a little bit uh, harder than you would expect. So this, that is a tribe, the meat right there? That's what we call the meat, but that's the tribe, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Do you have the sesame fajitas? Yeah, we've seen the sesame fajitas. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got the sesame fajitas. Can you that? Can you some of that? Uh, watch your, watch your plate on your um, Can I get it? another yes, plate? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. So you have the mason so, plate. There's a very good enchilada and a red enchilada. Yeah, so I tried the... the can we tear into that? Yes, yeah, there's so much it. food. I don't know what to tear into. Go in. for it. You're like... Uh, Solomon said, said, "Eat it, Kurt." I did. I ate it. Solomon it's also amazing. said, "Y'all get to have all the fun." Man, it's tough. It's tough work out here. Yeah. Yeah. It is <laughs> tough being on the radio. It's hard, it's hard work. Solomon, we're gonna we're gonna send you something. Solomon, we're gonna send you something today. I don't know if you'll get it. Kurt might eat it. <laughs> I might eat it. Guardy might eat it, but I'm gonna send it. Okay. So how? Uh, what's the? Uh, so let's talk about this for a little bit because I think you know much like we had Bonnie's donut on earlier in last week, right? We had yeah, them on last week in Lake City, and they brought in a five-pound cinnamon roll, and that was a lot of food. They brought in six. This is a four and a half pound. At least what do you think? Four and a half. Yeah. Five pounds? Yeah. Four and a half pound. Uh, I'm going to call it a breakfast taco, but what's the actual name of it? It's a burrito. It's a the domingo. domingo. The Domingo, which means Sunday, right? Yeah. It means Sunday. It was named after a guy that after ordered it. a guy named Domingo. He actually, he would eat two burritos of yeah. burrito grande. So one day I said, I'm going to make this special tortilla. He just doubled that with some two burritos. Yeah. And there it is. So he won't ask the order to. It's got it's bacon, 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 and tomatoes, cheddar cheese, ice, tomatoes. tomatoes. This is awesome. This looks yeah. amazing. This is, this is something you would get on a Sunday yes. morning, right? Do people normally cut it and like share it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Some people just cut it this way. I just want to cut that bacon. One day I'll come and do it. Okay. I feel like I've done a food challenge before and did lunch. Hey, Daddy, take your beans. Thank you, guys. Y'all enjoy it. Come on, sit here. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy every bit of it. See you. Not, not. You gotta get me with it, Kurt. Just right there. Yeah. Kind of like a man, Kurt. Here, do you want some, Cardi? Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 Man, there's so much meat inside of this thing. <laughs> Kurt, you're not a fan of meat. Not really a fan of bacon. I'm a fan of bacon. I thought you said you didn't like bacon. No. Oh, no. Watch out. You got it? Yeah, just leave it on. Yeah, just take the whole thing. Jen, do you want one? Yes. Oh, yeah, I gotta get out of the way. Yeah, but it's a gold bowl. Yeah, like it's a gold bowl, like with a case of beans. Maybe pass it for you. I'm gonna get it for you, baby. I'm gonna get it for you. Whoa. There we go. All right. There we go. So you have fajitas, you have somebody's got to taste the enchiladas in a moment. There, there was a simple game. Awesome. Um, Thank you. She wants uh, her. I'm going to say, oh, yeah, sorry. We got that the, the mango burrito. They're all sharing. Sharing. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I thought you, you ordered two for. <laughs> one, one person. Kurt, Kurt can't handle it. Oh, you can sit up. Where is he left? 
Yeah. The bread. You, you tell them about the guy that ate two, two mangoes at one time? But you didn't. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Someone did two? Yeah. Wait, I got cut. Well, 10 pounds? Yeah, that's a lot. Two mangoes. Two mangoes. And, and this guy, this guy is, uh, he was a uh, student in uh, Texas A&M. Texas A&M student? Yeah. He used to come in uh, like once, once a year. Yeah, he was doing a so we're open every day, like you said, except for Tuesdays. Um, we open as early as uh, 8 o'clock every day. And we close at 2. If you make it in at 145, you're good. Some people get here 5 till 2 and we serve them. We won't close down the kitchen or anything like that. We have uh, fresh uh, Mexican drinks. We have the horchata, which is the rice milk. You've got uh, tamarindo, which is tamarind. Thank you. And then we have a uh, hibiscus. You guys should try the hibiscus water. You'll love it. Hibiscus? Uh, I've never tried it. Yeah, it's very, very, very good. Uh, and you had cheese. Cheese is good. Mm -hmm. I love queso. Bring us a. Uh, uh, queso, man. Una agua. No de tamarindo, la otra. Horchata, Jamaica? Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Una Jamaica. Yeah. So the men, the menudo, what do you think? I like the menudo. Um, it's an acquired taste. It's different. I've never had anything like it before, but definitely I would do it again, okay. for sure. So that's the small version. We have uh, a big bowl. Okay. But we just brought out the small version of it. So I don't know if I could do a bigger version. Yes. Than this. Could you? Wait, on the burrito or the menudo? The menudo, yeah. Oh yeah, I could eat a big bowl. So Gardy's an expert at eating menudo. I can, I can eat some menudo. Did you see how he sprinkled on the greens? Yes. <laughs> like he knew, he knew exactly how to do it. Someone try that. That's the... His granddaddy used to make it like for New Year's, I think, every year. Yeah, yeah. So a few months ago, sometime last year, I think, he posted a picture of um, menudo he was going to eat for dinner <laughs> out of a can. So what? he went to the store and bought canned menudo. That's a real one. And I said, Gardy, I cannot so good. not say anything yeah. about this. If you ever want menudo, just let him know. <laughs> we just had river and we were like tired and one all the time. Marion brought us like manna from heaven. Food here so that's a hibiscus water. Yeah. I've had it before, I know, but I yeah, it's really good. I've never had it. You've never had it. Wow. So you'll definitely uh, come in and get served well. We do our best to serve the people, and also uh, the prices are very reasonable. I mean, some people tell us that it's very. I got a finish up. Some people have almost told us that it's it's too inexpensive, but some people uh, they enjoy. They have some to go, so you'll get probably more than one meal out of one plate. Yes, for sure. The, you know, even that alone is enough. Um, so you'll be known it. Three people will be known it, and you just have so. Uh, I'll get the exact price in a moment. What is it? Twelve ninety five. So that's the same price as the five pound cinnamon roll too. Is that it? Yeah. Um, so the hardest part about doing all this, is, and we've we've come to this is our third restaurant that we've done this. One day we did four restaurants in one afternoon. In one day. And it was really hard because we ate like they brought on all like the same similar stuff, and then we ate and ate and ate. And the hardest part is you know. Still trying to have a conversation, but also having this delicious food is really, really hard to do, for sure. You're doing a great job. Oh, uh, man. It's, uh, it's a tough job, but Kurt, I feel like you're, you're doing I think, I think, powering through. I think with all of the food that we're eating, we need a raise or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's work. It's yeah. a lot of work. Sorry, it's hard work. Did you eat the <laughs> I did. I had some, did some fajita, What's and then I mixed in. Here? Oh, do you want to? Taco. Is it going to be similar to uh, Taco John's? What is that? Tell me about Taco John's. So my favorite Mexican place that I've ever had food from is this fast food place in Nebraska called Taco John's. It's, it's a fast food place. It's supposedly it's like a, a comparable to Taco Bell, but Kurt says in his opinion it's better. So it's a fast food taco place that he grew up eating. It started in Cheyenne, Wyoming. By uh, John Turner. I guess the best self-proclaimed, maybe Taco King, Taco John. Listen, I called their customer service line, and I spoke to the same lady two days in a row. Two days in a row, he was trying to get some tacos sent down. Oh, oh, like, oh, it's for a private jet and bring us, bring us some tacos. Um, but they have potato olays, which is 
you know, basically tater tots. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Very authentic. <laughs> yes. Anyways. So it's um, John, not Juan. It's John Turner. John Turner. John Turner. It's not Juan. It's John. It's not Taco Juan. It's not Taco Juan. And he's the expert in there. We used to call it Taco Juan. We were going to Taco Juan. Taco Juan. Taco Juan. Taco Juan. Taco Juan. Feeling edgy. But anyways, they, they ended yeah. their phone. Like, they, they end their stuff with Ole the day. And I love that. I love that. Like, awesome. Ole the day. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so wherever they are, um, maybe we'll go compete with them. See if we can. Man, there's nothing close. close. <laughs> That's what he said. I was like, man, I have to like go to like Nebraska to get it. But this is delicious. This is good. To him, <clears throat> it's all about the cheese. Because he was saying, the cheese fan. Well, like, like yeah. in this, like the cheese is melted. He was like, well, they have the taco. The cheese is like shredded, it's melted. Then he would take it and dip it in the queso. Of course. And just eat it. Well, rounded cheese. Yeah. yeah. I like cheese. That was the hardest month of my life when I had to do no dairy. Oh, really? So Luis said, that's not Mexican curd. We're talking about, really like, life, you know, ta Taco Mexican John's, yeah. which is different. You know, there's so many different kinds. Like here in Texas, you know, we do a lot of Tex-Mex. Yeah. And then kind of there's like, <clears throat> but. What kind of meat is it? It's a ground beef. Very uh, good mixture of lean and, and uh, juicy uh, ground beef. <clears throat> they put onions, tomatoes, a lot of Spices gives gives it a real, real homemade taste. I like it. I should have torn it in half. So you could try it. You can nibble on the edge. It's good. Right? Oh, get some. Uh, get some of that. You didn't finish your menu though. Though I will. I will get to the menu. Everybody wants you to finish. Chug, 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 chug. I want to try this. This is the okay. tamale. Um, uh, double check the red one. It may also have uh, ground beef. Okay, it's all ground beef. So try it. Do you like spicy at all? A little bit. That sauce was too spicy. Oh, okay. okay so the then the green is a little bit to too spicy. But okay, the red one should be fine. Taco John's is it spicy? No, Taco Taco Juan's is not. So Luis says, stop saying favorite Mexican place and just say your favorite fast food place. That's true. That's what I'm going to say. Because I love Taco Bell, but I like real Mexican food. And you may not get as much. He's looking at me. He said Bell you may not get as much black for it. Like five dollars. Especially. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like great, you know. <laughs> me and Kellen had a great dinner. I, I love Taco Bell, but it is open when it comes to Taco Bell. You know. Oh, no. I know. And I've heard so, a lot like of good things about Taco Bell. Hopefully, uh, we get that Taco Taco set. Yeah. 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 If they had two, two, three. Three. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you do one without it. Yeah, I had, I had that. And the other one uh, with, with green sauce. Okay, so do one without anything. Okay. And the other two prepared. That is okay, so we, I just tried the, uh, the hot, or the tamale. I did the red one. No, the red one isn't mentioned now. We're going to get some tamales out in a moment. So wait, it was the red one is a spicy curd. You're you're acting now. No, that was <laughs> you're an actor. There might there might the have green, been a little green. Yeah, the green is a spicy. Yeah. yeah. There might have been a little green sauce. Try it again, just to make sure. I think it was a green. Try it again. <laughs> Are you sweating? A little bit. Kurt, come on, drink some of that rice milk. Some out of each other. Yeah, that's what that's good for. Cool. Yeah, it's just like a milk. You drink it and calm down. The spicy. The hottest part was was that sauce. So, a lot of times when you go for me, my seven year old kid eats that stuff. Wait, but uh, Roman is the one that is too Roman is too. Gammy and Roman. Yeah. Roman is four. Oh, the spicy ketchup. No. Gammy is seven, and they've been eating that sauce curd for years now. Without drinking anything, he said. Yeah, Listen, I need more. It was spicy and. And it was spicy ketchup, and that's all we had. I, I didn't know. He wanted to share our French fries. We were I like, said, "Yeah, you can have French fries, and we have all the ketchup we have." I said, "It's hot." He said, "I can handle it." You know, it's like a year ago too. Like, don't have Roman. Yeah, Roman. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, just to catch people up, if you're just tuning in, we are down at Los Combas, Com um, in Galveston. We're right on 45th Street. Uh, you can't miss it. It's a big building on the outside. It says Los Combas. Um, we're trying some Mexican food. I had menudo for the very first time. Guardian's really enjoying this. Um, and again, you can get the Domingo, which is I said that right. You can get the Domingo any day of the week. Any day of the week, not just on Sunday. And it's a four and a half pound 
burrito, right? Or breakfast burrito. It has bacon, cheese, it's got potatoes. I tasted some beans, some refried beans are in there. Um, and it's it's amazing that the cheese melted, so you know that it's good. You know it's good when the cheese melts. See, that's the so what's y'all's favorite thing to eat? My favorite is uh, the barbacoa, which is a uh, oh yes, it's a, it's a cheap meat uh, from the cow, but it's very lean. Uh, we mix it in with uh, pico de gallo. You can ask it, ask for it, la mexicana, which means they put in tomato, onions, and peppers. So the barbacoa is very good. We sell it by the pound on the weekends uh, for a pound with tortillas, beans, and salsas on the side. It's uh, $14.99 on the weekends. You can come in on Saturday, Sunday. You order it, get it to go, and the whole family can eat at home uh, for about 15 bucks. You really enjoy it. So, um, is there a place that people can go to learn more about Los Compas? You can go to uh, loscompas.biz. We're redeveloping the branding and the website as we speak. But uh, you can also find us on Facebook, uh, Los Compas. And uh, we'll, you can also find us on Yelp, like I said earlier. We have one of the best uh, ratings for Mexican restaurants on the island, and that's all done by people that visit us. Uh, we don't put the ratings there; it's all it all comes through people that visit. Us. Yeah. Um. And uh, oh, we, I was gonna say we did tag um, Los Compas. It is in the description, so you can go and click it out, uh, click on it, get information about Los Compas. Um, if you if you if you've been to Los Colombos, go ahead and share this out. Um, let people know that you had a great time. We're having a great time. Um, the menudo is fantastic. I'm actually it's the best menudo Rivers ever had. The only menudo. The only. From the last time we got to go. It's the only menudo she will eat. All right. Here's a few. Here's a few tamales. I'm gonna let you, right, Kurt, enjoy one of those. Let me tell you something. First step. Okay, wait, hold on. It's just like this, right? I'm going to make an instruction manual just for quick. Okay, here we go. You have to tear the house off. Wait. Don't tear it off. Just politely, gently remove yeah, it. Okay. You can't offend. You can't offend the tamale. I'm trying to burn it. it it's going to feed you. You're not mad at it. Right? So, so also, don't, you don't eat this. I learned that the hard way. Oh, it's really hot. It just came out, didn't it? Yeah. It really is good with quesadillas. You can dip it in there, yeah. That's how I like it. So another thing, guys, we also cater events. We've done many weddings. We've done graduation parties. Uh, here in the next month, we'll have a lot of people graduating. Yeah. And the parents really that enjoy the food. Uh, we'll have a lot of parties coming up. So if anyone's interested, we can give you the information for that. You can go to the website and also. Uh, call 409-762-1140 is the restaurant number. Can you do that one more time for us? 409-762-1140. Uh, if you would like to have an event catered. And here's some more of this. Here's the Lola's tamales. We know the lady that makes them. She's pretty good at this. Been doing it for a long time. So now, Kurt, this has already been peeled. <laughs> it's been prepared. I got it. So this, oh, is, no. the Kurt. this is the Kurt version, right? Right, the Kurt version. Can you rename it to the Kurt version? Um, he wants the Kurt. <laughs> I want a Kurt. The Kurt name Tamale. Rights on that. We'll have to Good. negotiate that on okay. the camera. I feel like we need more time. Yeah. yeah for that. We just met Kurt. We can't. We can't. <laughs> it's just your first day here. So, tamales, they've been peeled. Um, the husk has been taken off. And there's okay. the gravy, cheese, and oh, I think so you should really. I like how the that. cheese melted. Can I? I'll show I see the lust in your eyes. You just need to go ahead. The cheese. The cheese I love that you call it gravy. Yeah, it's like yeah, an it's enchilada gravy. gravy. Okay. All right, it's very see that? So give that. It to you. Yeah, can you see that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, Guardy, I know you're good on tamales. You gotta try this one. All right. I know you know how to peel them, so I'm not gonna give you a peel. Wait, watch over there. Okay, I have to ask. This, is, this might be a, a, Let me give you some a bad question to ask. The meat looks like salads. You know, it's got like. Okay, so yeah, so so the tribe. If you ever uh, want to open a science book on uh, 
Google it. Yeah, Google Tribe. Google Tribe. T R I B E. Am I missing that? Cow Tribe. Yeah. Excuse me. T R I P Tribe. And you'll see that naturally the menudo. That's the internal yeah. part of the stomach. You might not. You don't Google it now. <laughs> don't Google it now. Okay, so if you think that's oh, weird, God. we uh, the restaurant also makes um, tacos de lengua. We have which you're not a Mexican restaurant if you don't serve that. All right, so what do you think that is? <laughs> you one size was a compass. What do you think? Tacos de lengua. What part of Have you tried it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. The tongue. Okay. The tongue. There yeah, you go. Because yeah. of the language. Language. Oh, language. Okay. And you are cracking so, those codes. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. So we also sell uh, tacos de lengua. We serve those. It's a, ta- it's a, it's a, it's a cow's, cow's tongue. tongue. You peel the skin off of it, and it's very it's lean. lean, very lean, lean. And so a lot of people enjoy it. There's another restaurant in here in Galveston that we went to. It's called Soul to Soul. And they, they, they serve oxtails. Mm. And I made the mistake while we were live on Alaska. Facebook. I said, what, what is the oxtail? The actual oxtail, so it's actually the tongue of the cow. No, no, the t- not the tongue, the tail. Well, oxtail, is the the tail. oxtail, but yes. for this, it's Excuse the me. actual tongue. Yeah, no, this yeah. is the other end of the, the language. Yeah, the better end. I got, lost. <laughs> I got lost in that. Uh, in that I was language. just trying to language. say, like, I wasn't gonna ask and be stupid and be like, oh, it's the tongue, like got the it. actual tongue. Yeah. So like, yeah. it was, it is. Yes. It is. So here we sell the tribe, which which is the cows. Stomach, the gut, and then we sell the tongue. We sell the cheek meat. Uh, we sell the steak. We don't throw anything away. See, now, now I'm having a hard time like eating the menudo. Like, I'm just like looking at the like. That's what Louis, Louis said. We can do all things. Yeah, I see that Kurt put the spoon down when they explained a bit about the menudo. Eat it, Kurt. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe Luis also said my two year old eats spicy food, Kurt. Come on, Kurt. <laughs> um, so, with all the plates you guys are going to get, if you ever want to get, we have the refried beans, of course, and then we have the ranchero beans, which are these. Uh, it's got a lot of bacon bits, uh, fresh bacon. It's got uh, a lot of seasoning, garlic, onions. You will absolutely never want to eat uh, ranchero beans, or some people call them borracho beans, but uh, you'll really enjoy them. I forgot to share that with you. but. Uh, it's very so it's kind good. of like a just a side dish. It's a side dish, but it comes with multiple plates. But some people eat it as their as their dinner, as their as their lunch. Yeah. So you can't go wrong. We have a lot of other things to choose from on the menu. Next time you guys come, we'll we'll try some more things. But uh, it's also good. You'll never leave hungry. I guarantee you that. You'll have a well, look at all the, the food we still have on this table. Like, yeah. River's not done yet. River's There's no way that we're done. We won't leave it. Um. Awesome. So before are we. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go and try to finish some of this food. Um, again, where can where can people go to get information about Los Compas? So we're on Facebook, Los Compas, uh, Taqueria Mexican Restaurant on Facebook. Just go ahead if you're still watching or if you're just joining us, click on that Los Compas, go and like their Facebook page. Um, we're gonna be talking about this tomorrow on Kickstart. We are on at 9 a.m. on 99.5 FM. Also, KHEARadio.com. So if, if you're in Galveston right now and you're like, hey, I turned in 99.5 and it's not there, um, just go ahead and type it in on your phone and you can listen to us anywhere in the world. Like our page, share it out. Like this video, share it out because this food is amazing. Yeah. It's good stuff. So guys, can I do something? We want to do a challenge. Can we do that? Yeah. 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 Okay, so whoever can come in the next, let's call it the next week. Yeah. If you can come and finish the Domingo, it's on the house. Okay. If you can come and sit down by yourself, not share with the wife, not share with your kids, it's a twelve ninety nine meal, but you have to finish it within an hour also. That's the that's the other thing. Uh, you can't take six hours to eat the burrito. You yeah. can't have breakfast, breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. No, 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 no. So if you can come in, eat it, uh, we'll just we'll, we'll bless somebody with that. But if you don't finish it, you're gonna pay full price for it, so you better come hungry. <laughs> so whoever would like the challenge, we we challenge you to do it. Come on in, and you'll. Uh, Kurt, challenge the Kurt. 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 I think I can do it tomorrow. No, I need a day to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on Sunday. No, I'll come up with a day where I'm, I'm good. No. 
Paul will all sleep through church. But anyways, uh, so again, come in the next week. Do the challenge. Try the Domingo. It's on the house. Yeah, if they come in and we're not here, more than likely I won't be here when they come. Just tell them we're here with the KGA challenge, the Domingo. And uh, we're going to finish this thing. We're going to have to share this out and do some posts. Get a graphic or something. Yeah, we'll have to do that for sure. Thank you so much for that. Let's do it. Uh, guys, again, thank you for having us. Uh, this is a wonderful food. Go check out Los Compas. Click on the Facebook video. Um, click on the link. Go check out the page. Come down and see Bye. us. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye. And we'll see you.